Problem number 30 of section 1.5.1 gives us a function, piecewise defined function modeling the population of an ant colony. Now, part A asks us to show that this function is continuous. So, first off, we see that both pieces of the function are continuous. So, the only really real problem spot is right at the um, point of transition, which is 7. So, first off, we check, well, what's P of 7? Yeah, if t is equal to 7, then we use the top part, so minus 7 cubed, which is 340, minus 343, plus 10 times 7 squared, or 490. Now this is going to be equal to, uh, let's see, 147. So now we want to see, well, what's the limit of p of t as t approaches 7 if we come from the right? Because if t is greater than 7, then it's defined use, uh, using a different formula. So the limit as t approaches 7 from the right of p of t, well, this is the limit as uh, t squared plus limit of t squared plus 14t as t approaches 7. So we can just substitute right in. That will give us 49 plus 14 times 7, which is equal to let's see, 49. Now 14 plus 7 is going to be 98. And 49 plus 98 is going to be 147. So the values do match up, and we see that the function is indeed continuous. Right, part B asks us to find the critical values, meaning first we find the critical points, and then evaluate uh, the function at each of those points. So recall that a critical point is a point either where the function is not, the, where the derivative rather is not defined, or the derivative is equal to zero. So, first of all, we should probably check if the function, we had to check to see if the function was continuous at this point. We should probably check to see if it's differentiable at this point. So, p prime of 7, well, if t is equal to 7, then we're going to be looking at this uh, coming from the left here. So, we're going to be using the uh, first formula. So, this is going to be uh, minus 3 times t squared, which t is now 7, 7 squared, plus 20 times 7. This would be minus 3 times 49 plus 140, which is equal to 147 plus 140. And that is equal to, let's see, 287. All right, now we want to check, well, what's the derivative as we come uh, to the right? So if we're coming from the right, um, limit as t approaches 7 from the right, p prime of t. Well, now we're looking um, at the second formula here. So its derivative is going to be um, it's going to be the following, 2t plus 14. Now, to evaluate this limit, we can just plug 7 in. So we have 14 plus 14 equals 28, which is nowhere near the value that we got coming from the left-hand side. So we conclude that um, p is not differentiable at the point 7. So we can include that in our list of critical values, or critical points, rather. keep a list here. See that t is equal to 7 is a critical point. Next we want to check the value or the check the points where the derivative is equal to 0. So we'll start with the first part where zero, t is uh, between 0 and less than or equal to 7.
then p prime of t will be equal to minus 3t squared plus 20t. And we want to know where this is equal to 0. So first idea here is, well, t could equal 0, except that, that then t wouldn't be in our domain. So we can assume, safely assume that t is not equal to 0 and divide each term by t. And that gives us three, negative 3t three plus 20 is equal to 0. Or t is equal to 20 over 3. So we add this to our list of critical points. And now we can look at, well, what are the possible, val possible values um, or possible critical points when t is greater than 7. So if t is greater than 7, then p prime of t will be equal to 2t plus 14. Now if this is equal to 0, then we have 2t equal to minus 14. We have t is equal to minus 7, which is not in our domain because we're assuming t is greater than 7. So p of t actually doesn't have any critical points greater than 7. So now that we've found our two critical points, t equals 7 and t equals 20 over 3, we can find the critical values, which are p of 7. And that'll be equal to, well, actually, we already found that here. It's 147. And p of 20 over 3, which is minus, let's see, here we have 20 over 3 is going to be just a little bit less than 7. So we'll use the top formula. So this will be negative 20 over 3 cubed plus 10 times 20 over 3 squared, which now this will be over 27, and this will be 8,000 plus 10 times 400 over 9. negative 8,000 over 27 plus 4,000 over 9. Now, we want to make this, do not, uh, make the, we want these to have common denominators. So we multiply this by 3 over 3, which gives us 27 here, 12,000 here, and that leaves us with Four thousand over twenty-seven for a critical value when p when t is equal to twenty over three. And now part C asks us to find the intervals on which uh, the population is increasing and the intervals on which it's decreasing. So now that we found the critical points. We just need to find look at the sign of the derivative on each of these intervals. So zero to twenty over three, and the interval. 20 over 3 to our next critical point, which is 7. And then from 7 to infinity. So for the first interval, let's just pick a sample point somewhere in there. Well, 1 will work. So let's look at p prime of 1. Now, this is going to be equal to negative 3 times 1 squared plus 20 times 1 which is negative 3 plus 20, which is equal to 17, which is greater than 0. So on the first interval, our function is going to be increasing. Now, for the second interval, we're going to need to pick a point somewhere in here. Probably the easiest point to pick is just the average. 
So we have 20 over 3 plus 7 or 21 over 3. Divide that by 2 or multiply it by 1 half. And that gives us well, 41 over 3 times 1 half, which is 41 over 6. Now, rather than compute this into or plug this into the formula and try to figure all that out, I'll just give you the numerical value. This is approximately negative 3.42, which is less than zero. So, on the second interval, our function is going to be decreasing. Now, finally, we pick, say, eight as our sample point. We see that. Plug that into the derivative which is, let's see, 2t, so 2 times 8. Now we want to add that 2 plus 14. This will give us 16 plus 14, which is 30, which is greater than 0. So on the interval 7 to infinity, the function is actually increasing.